Hi, <clears throat> welcome to this uh, screencast about rubrics and in particular about single point rubrics. Using rubrics makes grading more efficient and objective as well as providing feedback to students. A new to me rubric is the single point rubric. What is a single point rubric? You may be more familiar with holistic and analytic rubrics. Here's what a template for a holistic rubric looks like. Basically, it's a rating scale where that you have anywhere from three, four, or five levels of um, competency that you might be looking for. And as you can read on the slide, this is our typical indicators for criteria in a holistic rubric. It's actually in some ways like a checklist. Here's a template for an analytic rubric where you have different levels and different categories. Um, so you are looking at multiple categories rather than just one item. And um, this is the type of rubric I traditionally use in my courses. Then I read an article about a single point rubric, and it makes a lot of sense. It'll save me time in rubric development, and I think it will communicate feedback more effectively to students. Here's the examples. I have two of a single point rubric. It's similar to the analytic rubric in that you have a variety of criteria, but you only put the level, the acceptable level of performance, and anything that's less than acceptable, you would provide feedback on the areas that need work. And if students exceed expectations, then you would write that in the uh, right hand column. Here's one that combines elements of the uh, holistic rubric with the analytic rubric. And I particularly like this one. And I found that for me, it translated very well into my Blackboard course. And I'll show you that example later on in the presentation. Um, here you have your criteria listed. You have a beginning level, developing level, accomplished an exemplary, or I call target level, and an area to write comments. So to summarize, here's a table. And you can see what the uh, features are of each type of rubric, how long it takes you to create. Holistic are the easiest. Um, but again, I found that the single point was kind of in between, and I really liked uh, the way that I could give specific feedback to students on how to improve and where they exceeded proficiency or target behavior. A uh, single point rubric is formative or developmental rather than summative. If you're looking for a summative assessment, you would want to use something like a holistic rubric. So why should you use a single point rubric? Well, the benefits are um, students could use the tool to self-assess. So if you wanted to um, have them do a self-assessment rather than you grading their paper, it provides for that. It promotes self-regulated learning. And as I said before, it's a formative assessment. And I like that I can analyze my teaching. What categories or criteria are students doing well on? And are there any patterns in the concerns? Because that will show me the areas I need to reteach in the course. How do I create a single point rubric? Well, I love the idea from an article that you co-create them with students. What do students see as an acceptable level of competency or skill? Um, how, you need to identify the observable indicators of the task or assignment. And you need to align your scoring with course objectives and actual instruction. 
So using these guidelines, I developed uh, two rubrics um, using Blackboard. And in this uh, rubric, students are writing a narrative where um, the criteria was explaining a theoretical foundation, so so providing supporting evidence, comparing, analyzing, I grade on professionalism and communication skills as well. And I, here I have concern area listed, the criteria, and then the target. If they meet target, it means that this draft narrative will le need little or no editing for the final submission. So I tended to use that as my um, indicator in the last column. Now I'm showing you the uh, the second example of the single point rubric which combined elements of the holistic with the analytic and I really liked this um, this particular rubric because I have the criteria listed then I would check off where they fell and write comments so how did this work let me switch over here to uh, my blackboard screen and here was an assignment where I used it and I used the single point rubric it was new so I have both listed there my old rubric and new rubric here you can see how um, the criteria is checked off um, in each category and my feedback is written in here the reason that you don't see feedback written in the top two columns is because for this particular assignment, I also um, write comments on the student's paper. So she'll get the comments about the theoretical foundations up in here, and the evidence comments would be written in further in the paper. So. In conclusion, I will share some uh, references with you. And um, I found the Cult of Pedagogy website to be very helpful in learning more about rubrics and finding concrete examples. I really liked the article Single Point Rubric, a Tool for Responsible Student Self-Assessment. Um, I found that to be extremely helpful. And then there was another um, article that I uh, found helpful as well. So um, enjoy creating rubrics. And I know your students will appreciate the feedback.